Hi everybody, I'm Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding a very interesting topic that is types of research. The different types of research. Okay. So, different authors has given different classification. We will see the, the best one as well as the most simple classification of the research. Okay. The types of research. Research is mainly classified into basic research, applied research, quantitative research and qualitative research okay for classifications we can see one by one first one is basic research okay basic research the name itself it is the base it is also called pure research fundamental research or theoretical research okay pure research fundamental research or theoretical research so what is basic research in basic research the researcher will conduct the research without a specific purpose in the mind the researcher will conduct the research without a specific purpose in the mind okay the ultimate aim the main aim of the researcher is to increase the knowledge or to improve the knowledge okay in basic research the researcher is not trying to solve a immediate problem okay he is not trying to solve a problem suddenly he is trying to generate the knowledge okay in basic research the researcher conducting the research without a specific purpose in the mind only the aim is to increase the knowledge while i am telling the example you will get the better idea okay the best example for basic research is isaac newton's theory okay so isaac newton's theory is the best example or einstein's theory is the best example for basic research okay as we know that everybody know that apple is falling down right it was not a problem but only newton asked what is the reason why apple is falling down from the top okay from the top it is falling to the bottom so what is the reason it was not a problem to the human being but he tried to understand what is the reason behind it he tried to improve or he tried to generate a new knowledge okay finally he find out the reason behind that and a new theory has discovered or a new theory has generated so what is basic research basic research is conducted to generate the knowledge not to solve a problem it is not finding a immediate solution to the problem but it is trying to improve or it is trying to increase the knowledge in basic research the researcher will try to increase the knowledge and try to test the theory whether this theory that is old theories will be there we know so many theories are there okay so the researcher will test the theory and sometimes if any mistake is there the researcher will purify or the researcher will filter that theory as well as sometimes he will generate a new theory like newton's theory okay that is basic research in basic research the researcher conduct the research without any specific purpose in the mind only the aim is to increase the knowledge okay to expand the knowledge that is basic research it is also known as pure research fundamental research or theoretical research okay next one is applied research applied research okay so from the name itself applied means some application is there okay so here in applied research it is used to solve the problem applied research is used to solve the problem or it is conducted to find a immediate solution to the problem 
I will give the example. Okay, COVID-19. To find a medicine for COVID-19. A researcher is planning to conduct a research to find a medicine for COVID-19 or AIDS. We know there is no proper medicine for AIDS. So, a researcher is planning to find a medicine for COVID-19 or AIDS. It is a problem. We need an immediate solution. So, if a researcher is conducting such research, finding solution to an immediate problem, you can call it as applied research. Because the result of that research is applied in the practical area. A functional purpose will be there if a researcher is identified a medicine for COVID-19. For example, so that knowledge, that medicine is used in the practical area. That means that medicine is given to the COVID patients. So the knowledge of that research is applied in the research, sorry, in the practical section. A functional purpose is there. But in applied research, it is not used in the practical area or a sudden solution for the problem is not there. But in applied research, it is conducted to find a immediate solution to the problem as well as it can be applied in the practical area. Okay. Regarding any uh, department, you can take the example. If it is in the institution regarding the teaching or in any department, according to the problem, a immediate solution is required. And a researcher is conducting the research and getting a immediate solution and applying that result in the practical area. You can call it as applied research. <coughs> okay. I have already given the example that is finding finding the medicine for COVID-19 or for HIV and AIDS and applying that result in the practical area. So, a functional purpose is there for the applied research that is we are calling applied research. Got it? Next one is quantitative research quantitative research okay while you are hearing quantitative research you have to keep it in mind that it is something related to the numbers it is something related to the numbers okay so here in quantitative research the data that is the information is collected in numerical form okay the data is collected in numerical form and the analysis that is the examination as well as the result is published in numerical form. So, you will get confused. Right? I will give the example so you will get a better idea. Suppose if you want to study the population, okay, the male and female population of a particular city. Okay? For example, Mumbai or New Delhi. Okay? You want to study the population of Mumbai, that is the male population as well as the female population. How many males are there in Mumbai as well as how many females are there in Mumbai? So, you are collecting the data, that is you are collecting the information how many males are there and how many females are there in Mumbai city. Finally, you are getting a result that is for example, 30 lakh males are there in Mumbai and 25 lakh females are there in Mumbai. Right? So, here the result is in a number and the collected data is in a number. Right? And analysis is also done in number. In quantitative research, you are collecting the data in numerical form, either in the statistical form or in the mathematical form, you are collecting the data, you are analyzing the data and your result will be in a number that is in the numerical form. Here in the example, the population of male is 30 lakh, it is a number and female population is 25 lakh, it is also a number. 
another example is if you want to study regarding the height level of the males in india and the height level of the females in india so in a number only five feet or six feet according to the number only you will get the result and you will collect the data as well as if you want to study regarding the hemoglobin it will also come in number right if you want to study the blood pressure level or the blood glucose level whatever it may be whatever it is related to the numerical form the data are collected in the numerical form in numbers in the statistical form or in the mathematical form you can call it as a quantitative research measuring the quantity you are measuring the quantity in numbers okay so it is the systematic investigation of the events you are systematically investigating the things that is happening and the information is collected in numbers analysis that is the examination is done in numbers in the numerical form okay so the quantitative data, uh, research is classified into experimental research as well as the non experimental research in non experimental research it is again classified into descriptive research exploratory research comparative research correlational research and all so always keep it in mind in some other others classification you can see the types of research as comparative descriptive correlational or the different types you can see exploratory research like that all these things are coming under quantitative research okay exploratory comparative and the uh, correlational as well as the descriptive research is the classification of the quantitative research okay coming under non experimental okay quantitative research is classified into experimental as well as non experimental again the non experimental is classified into descriptive exploratory and the uh, exploratory descriptive as well as the comparative and the correlational research so always keep it in mind you can see in that mode also but it is coming under quantitative research classification of the non experimental okay to know regarding more about that i have already done a video regarding that i will leave the link in the description box regarding the non experimental research and its classification okay next one is qualitative research okay qualitative research so here the qualitative research is mainly used in social science okay mainly used in social science okay mainly used in social science so for what purpose qualitative research is studying deeply regarding the human behavior okay qualitative research here the researcher will study regarding the human behavior in depth that is deeply studying the human behavior we know human beings different cultures are there different communities are there different religions are there so according to that the human behavior will be different so here in qualitative research the researcher will study the human behavior in deep as well as what is the reason behind such behavior what is the reason behind such human behavior in some culture some things will be accepted the same thing in another culture that thing will be not accepted so the researcher will study regarding what is the reason behind it he will study in depth regarding the human behavior and what is the reason regarding such human behavior mainly the researcher will study in qualitative research regarding the attitude of the people attitude of the people towards particular thing for example attitude of the people regarding covid 19 vaccination some communities are not accepting or some peoples in a particular areas are not accepting the covid 19 vaccine so 
they will the researcher will study regarding their behavior what is the reason behind that i'm giving just an example only okay so in qualitative research the researcher will study regarding the human behavior their attitude their feelings and their opinion okay so if a researcher want to study regarding the culture of the europeans or if a researcher want to study regarding the culture of the asians or the africans or the americans for that research you can call it as a qualitative research so qualitative research is mainly used in social science it is studying the deeply studying the human behavior and the reason for such behavior mainly the feelings opinions and the attitude okay that is qualitative research and the qualitative research is also classified into historical research action research grounded theory ethnographic research and phenomenological research okay so it is coming under qualitative research if you are seeing action research or if you are seeing historical research or grounded theory ethnographic research or phenomenological research in any other classification that things are coming under qualitative research okay it is the classification of qualitative research <coughs> got it action research historical research phenomenological grounded theory as well as ethnographic research is the classification of qualitative research and in quantitative research the classification is experimental and non experimental in non experimental you can see exploratory research descriptive comparative and correlational research it is the classification of quantitative research why i am telling this is in other books some books you can see that this classification you can see quantitative also you can see comparative also that is according to the author only but it is the classification coming under quantitative and qualitative research got it that's all regarding the types of research we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye